Hey guys, this is Stephanie with Empower Physical Therapy. And today we have Matt. He is one of our um, past patients who was having some back pain and um, just wanted him to kind of share, share his story. So tell us a little bit um, about like what's happened, when did this start, all that good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so it started about a year ago. Um, just started having some more severe back pain, really lower back pain that kind of came out of nowhere. So having trouble walking um, and, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. but then ended up going on a cross country trip, driving to Colorado and going skiing for several days. And then upon returning, realizing, okay, this isn't just the typical like lower back pain that I've kind of gotten over the years. This is something more severe. So I went to um, the doctor, found out I had a pretty severe herniated disc after doing some MRIs um, and opted against doing surgery uh, just because I have friends and families who are chiropractors and can kind of heard different horror stories and uh, went, went an alternative route um, to starting to do um, spinal decompression therapy which helped a lot with the pain, but what was still lacking was kind of the ability to strengthen um, specifically the strength I lost in my left leg because of the nerve when, when the um, hernia disc pinched on that nerve caused a lot of atrophy and weakness in my left leg, which was affecting daily life as well as trying to play sports. And so that was the piece that was missing was I needed something to be able to strengthen it and also kind of a tool set to move forward with for dealing with the pain and also uh, being able to strengthen it through regular exercise. Yeah, and I remember when you came in, there, there still was a lot of fear of like, I'm afraid if I do something, it's going to throw me out, like throw my back out again. So while the decompression helped um, give you some, some good resolution, it didn't fully resolve things. And that's kind of what we find um, because essentially decompression is like um, traction. So we've given you some traction, which is great. You're giving them some space. We have these discs that um, are kind of fluid filled as we get older, they can be particle filled. And so you ha it gave you enough space that it kind of allowed things to kind of move to make you feel better, took pressure off the nerve but it didn't fully resolve it because usually what we find is we can find a direction that we can move into to really move it that much farther. And so you, that direction could be an extension. It could be something where we're having to move off to the side and um, for you as extension. And once we knew that direction, then you were like, you know, able to start to control your own pain and, and start to feel better and feel like a little bit more confident with, you know, going to your, kids sporting events and coaching to playing basketball and those kind of things. And then obviously you did have the weakness in the leg that had to be addressed, but that's, I mean, that's the easy stuff. Like it's, it's getting, giving you tools to um, really help you know how to manage this is, is really key. And I think that's where a lot of people, I mean, as far as healthcare providers don't, don't give you. Yeah, no, I totally agree. And I think what I liked about empower and some of the differentiators there was the fact that that very first day not only looking in the area of the injury itself but also looking at everything above and everything beneath yeah. it because for me personally like I have very um stiff like um hip flexors yeah. and so that was a big piece of like loosening that up to getting the back to be able to move more and there was some stuff going on in the upper back which wasn't yeah. necessarily <laughs> related to the herniated disc injury um, but helped with overall movement. So I also kind of like that holistic approach of looking at everything as opposed to just targeting the area that was injured. Yeah. And that's common. Like we find a lot of people that have back issues, um, will have hip issues, especially on the same side, like that one side is not moving as well. And, and even like the hip flexor get a lot of times can be the symptom. And once we get the joint to kind of open up, everything else starts, starts resolving. And then again, giving you tools as far as like some of the stretches that I've given you are things that I do all the time because I know it helps keep my back in check and keeps me feeling great. What were some of your fears with this if this didn't get resolved? Yeah, so first and foremost, uh, being a father of two young kiddos um, <laughs> was the concern to not be able to like run around with them as they're getting older. Um, and I coach my daughter's sports 
So also being able to do that, which I really enjoy doing. Um, so those were the, the kind of first things I really was concerned about. Um, other things I was concerned about was getting back into my normal activities of, I was playing, you know, basketball once to twice a week and just doing kind of regular workouts and coming from some of the, the prior interventions that I did, I always felt a little like weird tweak in the middle of my back, which wasn't painful, but it was like a reminder of something's about to go down. Oh, still there. <laughs> yeah. And so that, so being able to address that specifically, and then also just the fear of having to have back surgery at some point and all of the potential issues that can come from that, uh, both from the surgery itself and also down the line, uh, those were my, were my really main fears. Yeah. And how, like, as far as the education that we gave you and the tools that we gave you on, on how to like manage this long-term, um, how did, how's that helped? Yeah. So kind of what, like what I was saying earlier in terms of having a, a, a tool set of activities is it's helpful to have things I do every day just to keep it loose and, and keep it from being painful. And, and I don't always do, but if I do stick to them, uh, it tends to keep the pain away. And but you know, like, you know, you know, like if I go back to doing these, I'm going to feel fine. Like, right. have the confidence that, okay, even if I don't, cause that's human nature. Like I'm the same way until I'm like, Ooh, I'm a little stiff. I probably better go back to my exercises. <laughs> you, you know what to do. Yeah, absolutely. And so even if, you know, doing those religiously, first of all, and then secondly, if there is pain, knowing where to go, what to do to deal with that pain in the moment, if I overdid it, um, you know, working out or whatever. And then also having a suite of exercises to do to continually strengthen it, in my case. Um, so really having kind of the go-to arsenal of management to addressing pain to continuing to strength, strengthen. Yeah. And I know this has been going on for a long time. So did you ever get to the point where like, man, I'm not going to be able to ski or I'm not going to be able to play basketball. Um, but now like you went on a ski trip not too long ago and had no problems, which is amazing. You're getting back to playing basketball. The only thing that you really felt was just more of like my legs feel a little bit weak, but nothing in the back. Totally. I mean, even then, like it held up pretty like completely on the slopes. I didn't, I didn't feel a thing uh, from a leg perspective, which was great. And um, back to playing basketball, you know, at least once a week, the other day I played twice a week. I honestly, I can't remember the last time I played basketball twice in one week. Um, and so it's, it's great because now more than ever being on zoom calls all the time, being <laughs> stuck inside working from home, like this is really important to me and also getting older yep. is it's really important to stay active. So to, to address kind of all those things I named earlier. So for me, yes, at one point I felt like, well, I guess this is just something I'm going to have to deal with. And I'm not going to be able to do all the things that I like doing as much before. And I wasn't ready to accept that, yeah. um, which is why I first went and saw you guys and, and I'm pretty excited about where I am today. Yeah. So if someone's like on the fence about coming in, what would you tell them? Yeah, I would say just go to the initial consultation uh, because for me, that was really informative mm -hmm. in terms of you were able to tell me pretty definitively right away, you don't need surgery yeah. um, and here are the things we can work on. And then I also like that there, uh, you know, you guys were able to put together a kind of customized package that was going to be best for me and my specific needs. Yeah. And there was never a pressure of like, you have to come X amount of times um, so for me, it was a, it was a session by session, uh, buy into the system as well. So I didn't feel any threat going the first day, um, or feel, feel like I was getting sell sailed, which is, which I have a trigger for. Um, and, and then also just being able to see, see those results. So anybody who was on the fence, I would just say, just go to the initial consultation and get more information. Yeah. Power, like knowledge is power and you'll get a lot of it at the very beginning. That's what we can do is because we can spend time with you, with you guys to really explain like what we're seeing, what we're going on, why this is happening, what you're doing throughout the day that could be creating some of these problems um, and, and making you feel comfortable that, oh my gosh, I really do feel like I'm going to get resolution here. I, I haven't 
you know, I have hope again. We hear that all the time. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. This, you know, I always say like stories are, are what other people can see themselves in. And a lot of times in our healthcare system, it is just um, depressing because the only thing that our options for most people are just, let's do some injections and let's do some surgery. And, oh, you're just gonna have to deal with this because that's just what happens. And, um, and it's not the case. So um, when people hear your story, it's really gonna um, impact them to know that, you know what, there is a place that, that can help you. So we really appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Of course. And I uh, hope it helps somebody else.